This sensor example demonstrates connecting a load cell to an 800 range data taker logger. We are going to connect the load cell to channel 2 using a full bridge constant current configuration. When we inspect the outside of the load cell we see that the plus terminal, the red wire that is, is connected to the star input on the channel 2 whilst the minus input terminal, which is the black wire, is then connected to the hash terminal. The plus output terminal is connected to the plus terminal on channel 2 whilst the minus output is connected to the minus output on channel 2. If we inspect the calibration sheet it gives a figure of 2.006 millivolts per volt for 100 pounds. If we're going to scale this in kilograms this would be an equivalent of 45.5 kilograms. We have wired the load cell and we have an 800 range data taker connected. We have made a software connection between delogger and the data taker. This is the 800 series programming window. We connect the signal, click, click on signal here and we connect, uh, click on bridge. Now the type of wiring we want to do, start on channel 1, we want to wire channel 2. We can see there the 2 excitation, 2 met minus, etc. between the star, hash, minus and 1, etc. Click OK. We've programmed up the bridge configuration. Now we send this program to the connection. Usual warnings, window, check the text results, the returned results. Now the the load cell is laying on its side, so it's running at around about minus, it's fluctuating a bit, but I'll put it about minus 75, minus 76 uh, parts per million. Right, now we'll come back and let's scale it, so we click on window, we come back to the programming window, we need to go to the scaling area, select span, now the physical range will be between 0 and, uh, what is it, 45.4 kilograms because we've converted it, now the signal, the 0 value was minus 76, whilst the full range is 2000.6, note we're converting from millivolts per volt, which is parts per thousand, to parts per million. Now I'll click, give this units, kg. Now we select schedule A. Now we can apply the scaling directly to this channel, but if we were confused about a few things and weren't quite sure, what we could do is I can select this channel, I right click, copy that selection, right click, paste. Now we have two channels, one scaled, one unscaled. I'll put label this one, um, this is uh, load, and this one here is unscaled. Now, I'll send this program to the connection, usual warnings, etc. Go back to text window, we observe the results. There's our unscaled reading and our scaled reading. So if we compress it, which is negative, it's designed to go into tension, we get 7 kilograms. If we apply a tension, which is a little harder to do by hand, we get around at 5, 6 kilos, etc. Now if we wanted to, because we, we only did the uh, unscaled measurement because we just wanted to check what was going on with the parts per million, etc. The unscaled readings, we can go back to our window, Prog1DL8, right click, delete this row now, send the result, yeah, usual warning, text window, there's our completed measurement, etc.